What's going on guys? Today I have a review for two items. Here I have a Gorilla Pod uh tripod. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um it's a piece of crap. <laughs> I'll get that right off the bat. Um I'm just making this review just to prevent anyone who is out there looking for a tripod uh in this size just not to get this. I'll get to that later. I'll explain why. And then I also have the hand grip, the Optica. This is the handle grip or whatever you want to call it. I for any camera that has um, quarter quarter inch thread, is it quarter inch? Yeah, quarter inch thread. Um, it, it it's pretty good. It's worth the money that I paid for it. I actually like this one a lot better. Uh, I'm just not satisfied with this. But I'll get, uh, let's talk about this one first. Um, first off, it came in the package. I bought it off of Amazon, and I guess you get what you pay for. Um, as soon as I took it out of the package, I opened the legs up, and the first thing that happens. Look, like it just comes completely apart, and maybe it's supposed to do that. Uh, maybe not. I don't know if maybe this one's just defective. They just come right off, and it's really inconvenient. Um, the reason I bought it was for my GoPro. I wanted to be able to mount this onto different things, so I thought a Gorilla Pod would be easy because you know, the way that this works or the way they advertise is that they can pretty much grip onto anything. And I even tried grip announces something, but it doesn't. It just doesn't stay. It doesn't grip. I don't know. I was completely disappointed with it. Um, I know they have other items, and I guess they were. Um, I was expecting more. I only paid. I think retail from the Gorilla Pod website is uh, twenty bucks for this, but this I paid. Uh, what did I pay? Like eleven dollars for it on Amazon, brand new. Um, so I don't know. I'm just gonna show you exactly how it works. It actually brings in like a little quick release thing that you can put on here. I put it on the bottom of the of the uh, GoPro, and like it, it I guess it stands up. But if you look, let me back up so I can get focused. Um, if you look, if you just touch it a little bit, like the top wasn't even holding before, the legs were just flimsy. It just wasn't a product that I would trust my GoPro on. This stuff, this you know, these cameras uh, aren't cheap, so like I don't want to make. I want to make sure that whatever I mounted on is going to actually stay and it's not going to fall off and break. Um, it just doesn't seem, it just seems way too flimsy. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't satisfied with it at all. Like, the legs, like, I, <laughs> I just don't know what else to say. Um, I don't know. Like, look at that. Like, not even that much force was put into that, and it just comes right off. <sighs> I don't know. I was really disappointed. Okay. I guess that doesn't even stay on there either. <laughs> Look, I'm just not, I don't want to rant about it. I'm disappointed. I'm actually sending it back to Amazon, to, uh, shipping it out today. I just wanted to make this quick review and uh, hopefully avoid anyone else from being disappointed with GorillaPod. Um, they are a great company. I have actually haven't owned a GorillaPod uh, prior to this one, but I have used one for a DSLR. Like They have a DSLR Zoom one, which is a lot bigger. It's a lot sturdier. Um, so I figured this size would be, you know, th it's made from the same company, so I figured the material, I mean, the uh, the build would be the same, but um, apparently not. I guess if you're looking for just a quick tripod, it might work, it might get what you're looking for, but like, I just feel like it's not steady enough, like, I don't know. And it's not like a GoPro, it's, this has the LCD backpack, it's not like a GoPro is uh, heavy. So maybe... Um, maybe I'm at wrong here. I'm at fault because maybe the GoPro is too heavy for this kind of tripod. I don't know. But um, anyway, enough of that. I didn't like it. I definitely am returning it, and I'm definitely going to get a bigger one. Even though uh, the bigger ones are meant for DSLRs, I'm still going to use it for this. That way I know I'll be secure um, with the GoPro I'm mounted on there. So let's take this apart. I'm going to put this to the side. And I'm going to show you now the hand grip. Now the hand grip, I believe I paid fifteen dollars, maybe uh, something around that. It was definitely less than twenty for this, and it was, you know, um, I think it was worth it. I actually checked on other websites, and it was about twenty bucks, just uh, approximately the same price. Now the way this mounts is, it has this little quarter-inch connecting thing in here that you mount to the bottom. Let's see if I could. Uh, Okay, it has this right here, and this connects to the back, the bottom of your camera. Now, this one in particular, this hand grip right here, is actually, you could use it on DSLRs. It doesn't have to be specifically for small cameras. This one's actually meant to use on DSLRs. There is one problem with this, and I'll show you exactly what it is. The, uh, one of the reasons I was disappointed, just a little bit.
but uh, I'll show you why. I'm just going to show you on the GoPro again. I'm just going to mount this on here. One thing that I don't like about this um, off the bat is the fact that you need a screwdriver. You need a Phillips head in order to actually screw this um, tight. It is inconvenient sometimes because I don't always have a Phillips head screwdriver on me. So in case I want to change mounts on the GoPro, especially with the GoPro, because like you know the GoPro, um, it mounts onto a whole bunch of different things. So it is a little inconvenient, but uh, I guess you just throw uh, a small screwdriver in your gear bag and then you're set. So the way this sets in, you just put it right in here. This little lever pushes down and then it's, I don't know if you can see that, hold on. This pushes down and then th that little piece slides into those little two slots that you see there. So let's go ahead and do that. It is a little bit hard at first, but once you get it, it, it uh, snaps right in. <clears throat> now as you can see, it does work. Uh, you know, it's not going to fall off or anything like that. The only thing I don't like is this right here. If you look, it's not 100% steady. Like that really kind of turn me off only because like I feel like if I'm running with this like it's gonna shake like you might not notice the shake here but like just look Let's see if I can focus a little better just look like it shakes it definitely wobbles it's not completely um, flush on here now I did find a solution I actually took a piece like a washer and I cut a piece off of the washer which is right here and it works fine because the way that the washers are made, obviously they're circled right here. So if you look at the top of the mount for the GoPro, it's also circled. So I actually put this right underneath this. And then it sits flush on there. You can't even see it from the top, see? And now, hard as a rock. It will not move. It does not move whatsoever. Um, so I actually like this a lot in case I'm out there in the paintball field or wherever if I'm shooting. I can actually hold this in my hand. I think it's anything is better than having just the little camera in your hand and running with it because you're going to get a lot of shake. This doesn't completely stabilize the footage, uh, but it definitely does give it a lot better. Just handle grip. I don't know. I just feel a lot better with it. Like you can hold it out like this if you're running or whatever you're doing or whatever activity you're doing. So I do actually like the idea of having this. Again, like I said, that I don't I didn't like the fact that it wobbles, but that little solution, you can put anything. I figured a washer was easier uh, and it was more convenient. Because it didn't uh, stick out or anything, so um, I'm also going to demonstrate this, how to use this or how it would look if you used it on a DSLR. So let's take this out. Here I have a Canon T1i. It's a small camera, has a small 50 millimeter lens, so it's not that much weight. So let's go ahead and put this on there. You screw that to the bottom of the camera. Use a screwdriver to finish screwing it in. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> And then you put it on the camera itself. I mean, on the actual grip. Now, as you can see off the back, it still wobbles. I don't like that at all. So, I might have to find a different solution for this because I don't. I don't think that. Uh, or maybe the the other part of the washer. You might be able to put this in there, but I don't know if you want to scratch your camera. But if I put this in there, you can automatically see that it does solve the wobbling issue, so it won't wobble. And you can hold it with this hand and have two points on this uh, with this camera. So it, it definitely helps with the stabilization. Two points on a camera definitely helps. Even if you're taking pictures, you know, it does definitely help. Uh, one plus with this is that it has a quarter inch thread on the bottom. What that means is you can either, um, potentially you can actually mount this onto a tripod. Why you would do that, I don't know. But it is an option. And another option would be like a neck strap. Um, I personally use a uh, Black Rapid RS7, as you can see here. This is actually pretty cool because it can just attach to the bottom here. And I can carry this uh, with me at all times. So let me show you. Strap that right there. And then you have that on there. So you can shoot pictures. You can even use this. To, you can have a bigger lens on here and it'll still hold it. Actually, you know what? Let me attach a bigger lens. Alright, so as you can see here, I have a bigger lens on here. This is a tw what is this? A 70, 70 to 300 Pro Master, blah blah blah. It's just an older lens that I've had for a while. In any case, as you can see, this is a pretty big lens, um, and it extends a pretty long way. Now, this grip is meant for DSLRs. It's not meant well. It's not designed for the GoPro or for the smaller cameras, but you can use it for that. Uh, but it's designed for this now. 
with this strap on you can actually have this hanging on your waist or like off your waist and then you can ready ready to take the picture you have two um, two points of contact you have one here which is going to give you a better grip and you're able to get a steadier shot and then even if you extend this all the way out it's still pretty steady so you don't have to worry about anything uh, as far as any blurry pictures or anything like that um, so it's you know it's it's a useful tool to have whenever you're even even if you're shooting video or if you're shooting pictures uh, either or it still works pretty good uh, like I said before it is without this little washer on the bottom and it's not tied on right now that's why it's turning guys so if I had it tied on you could actually continue spinning it actually you know what since it's a bigger lens let me tighten it a little more it's pretty tight let's put that back in there and as you can see straighten it out a bit and there you go but it's the same thing um I don't like the fact that it wobbles you could probably see the more of a wobbly here see how it sits like that I don't like that at all whatsoever because I feel like the, it's gonna just rip off um, but a solution would be that you can put a washer under there if you don't want to scratch your camera you can wrap the washer with some gaffers tape and then you can just slide it right underneath there and that actually prevents any of the shaking that the camera has so as you can see there and it doesn't for this one doesn't a hundred percent stop the shaking but it definitely stops a lot of it um, and they pretty much just give you it gives you two points so that's pretty much what I'm most focused on I don't care too much of the shaking when it comes to taking pictures because as long as I have two points on the camera two holding points um, I'm able to get a, a steadier shot and you know not worry about uh, any movement while taking the picture but yeah anyway before I continue on with that rant uh, that's pretty much it so this is definitely a go for the price I think it's worth it it's about I think I definitely paid less than twenty dollars for it um, I'll have any of the any links um, to the products on in my description um, I shall have a link to my website so you guys can go there and check everything out more detailed uh, description on these items um, now as far as the gorilla pod I don't know guys I honestly would not recommend getting this uh, if you really must try it yourself you can uh, I was really disappointed I'm not gonna use it I'm actually returning it uh, just have to put it in the box after I'm finished with this video. I'm gonna throw it in the box and send it out through UPS. Uh, didn't like it. I will be making a review on the bigger one. I will be ordering that and we'll be getting that instead because I feel safer with that. Um, like I said before, these devices are not cheap, so to be able to put, I want to feel confident putting this on any type of tripod or any type of uh, mounting accessory. Uh, I don't want to have to worry about it falling or. Anyway, so if you have any questions, you know what to do, guys. Leave them down below. Hey guys, check out these two videos that I made at the paintball field with my GoPro Hero 2. Feel free to subscribe to Untalented Productions. I'll be uploading more paintball videos in the upcoming weeks. Well guys, like always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can add me on Facebook, or you can follow me on Twitter. Until next video guys, peace.